It's Fadil Othman. I'm from Zanzibar. I am 23 years. Um, hello everyone. My name is Saida Malik. I'm from Zanzibar, Tanzania. Hello everyone. My name is Ruben Andrade. I'm from Cape Verde. I have 23 years old. A lot. I've learned a lot since I'm here in Uganda. Um, especially these things of uh, social business, how to, how to discover myself, how to live with people with different mindset, how to, to change your limiting belief, and how to bring impact from your community. Uh, since I came here, I've, I felt uh, I developed in a personal way a lot and most especially in self-confidence, uh, like the willingness and the uh, skills to present myself and present my ideas and uh, dealing with uh, different people with different uh, habits and, and character in the group uh, that means uh, teamwork and uh, conflict resolution uh, among those different people with different habits. We've been going through personal and professional development training and those helped me in different kind of way. Uh, we also had mentoring, uh, training of trainer, life coaching. So all of them, they are the best. The name of a project is called the Hazina Innovation Academy. And uh, um, we are supporting youth to become a social entrepreneur by solving problems from their communities. Well, when we came here we didn't have like any idea that we have uh, a project and then so we start from the scratch um, the replication journey we came uh, with an idea to replicate the Sina model back to Zanzibar and now it's moving very well we start from the scratch looking for the problem doing the customer discovery getting solution and all the value propositions so now we are uh, on the way to go back and start implementing it and then experience the reality and learn from the experience. Yeah, I'll stop there. Um, the whole video is 12 minutes and has more voices as well. And it's not yet out, so you have been the, the, on the premiere. Um, uh, but it was from May and end of May, no, beginning of May, uh, Saida and the others went out back to their um, yeah, home communities, home countries. And at this point then I would like to invite Saida to share a little bit more yeah, about yourself and your journey in Sina and what is ahead. Um, so over to you. Okay, thank you, Eten. Hello everyone once again. Um, my name is Saida Malik from Zanzibar, Tanzania. And I'm a proud um, Sina replicator model. Um, we are going to start replicating model as soon as possible when we get uh, when we finish the registration. Well, I've joined um, Sina community, especially at um, uh, one of the, the best community, Jangu International, on uh, June 2020. Um, it's uh, one of the interesting journey that I've never been gone through, and I'm proud that I've got a chance to join the, the Sina community. Um, at the beginning, it was a little bit hard, uh, but I'm someone who likes an adventure. And this adventure, it was uh, over my limit, but thanks that uh, I overcome it. The first week I was almost giving up, said like, uh -uh, I cannot do it. It's, it's too much for me. But since Sina you know, has the, the, um, the life that I'm living, which is uh, unique on different other communities, so people's there, they are the one who are giving us hope, especially me. Uh, there was the mentors, one-on-one -on -one and coaches who was there and supporting us on every step that we are taking. So hopefully on their help, I made it. Um, I came back this year on May and myself, I'm a caring person who enjoys seeing others grow and develop where um, I have um, mission in life to empower individuals by providing um, care, advice, and um, teach those who I need most. Um, I'm also committed to seeing uh, other grow and develop and recognize uh, that each person is unique and deserve my extra care and efforts through sharing 
ideas, knowledge, and experiences in a transformative way. And my aim is to inspire and engage people um, in every step of their way, and also make sure they leave a lasting positive impact on their life, not only on my life. So, because uh, people left that positive impact on me and those people that are from Sina community, which um, before I was only thinking of myself, like whatever I want to do, to do it was only for myself. But when I joined that community, I realized that what I'm doing is not only for me, but also I have to do it to think for the other people, but also other creatures that are there and for the other uh, creatures that they will come after us. So it's not only about you yourself, but about the community, the people around you and everything that has surrounded us. So when I'm in um, PG, I joined the applied or the college confusion stage. And it's really, really confusing. You don't know uh, where, where you want to start. You don't know who you are. You don't know what you want to do. So everything was like totally confusing. But hopefully in the end of um, the, the confusion stage, we go to understand like ourselves. It's to understand the purpose, why am I existing, what I want to do, and where I want to go. So we go through different kinds of uh, training. Um, like we got the support, as I said, on mentoring and life coaching. And even the, the facilitators who are there, they are supporting. And they train people to understand it. Like they don't do it only for studying, but they do things that will help them on their life. Like we learn so many things. One of them is like um, the seven habits. Like it makes you to understand like the real life, how it goes, not just you learn and then after you finish it, you do exam and then you go. There's no exam. So you evaluate yourself what you do and the result is what you will come up. If you come with the enterprise or you will evaluate yourself, go back home with nothing. So for us, um, I'm happy that I'm, um, one of the replicators. So I joined uh, there and I go through a uh, different kind of training. And when we are on the, the next stage, which is uh, emerging stage, we got now to understand like when we want to start anything, if it's enterprise or to replicate the model, we have to understand the problems, which is in the community first, which it was a little bit hard for us to, to do it. In, uh, in Zanzibar, we mostly, uh, we know like there's the hierarchy stuff, there's the leader who tells you, you do this, do that, do like this. There's no um, self-organization. If no one tells you what to do, you just enjoy your time and then waiting for people to direct you, go do this, do that. But in uh, Sina, when I was there in a jungle, it's like you do the things according to yourself, what you want to do, where you want to develop yourself, but no one is there to force you. If you need help, people stay there to support you on each step that you are taking. And it's free for you to do whatever you want to do, but also it's um, a place where I, uh, I got a chance to uh, express myself and understand more, especially uh, I'm someone who likes to support women, working with women with, uh, when it comes to women empowerment, gender equality and equity. So um, we had the summit this year and like uh, I am the replicator, like we didn't start the organization yet, but the people who started the, the, uh, their communities already on the ground, they gave us a chance to present. They didn't feel like they are there, they have status, they have organization that are on the ground, but they give us the new ones to present and use the stages to learn. If, they, if we will make a mistake, then we will learn from the mistake that we, we made. So it also gives me the power, like the way how uh, in Sina communities, people work together, like women and, um, and men, they work together, they do everything together. So it gives me like more power, like, okay, I have to replicate these things back home because we still have that um, gender issues in Zanzibar, it's um, a little bit behind. And when I was there, I see everything is new for me, like seeing people, young ladies, they're coming with their enterprises and you see like, well, these things why we don't have at home there. Because the first time when I was there, it was like a little bit confusing. Uh, I wasn't like ready to replicate the model, but after um, three months, 
to six months, I said, now I want to replicate this model back home. And I know this will help so many youths and especially women there to understand their powers and have are eager to do better and especially on the business like normally people do business but we don't consider how the community is going to benefit how other sectors are going to benefit on a business that we are doing we only look after money we are doing business and if we get money then it's enough we don't check the impact that we are creating but from asina there is where i got to understand like impact it's it's everything at the end of the day on what you are doing and it has to be a positive impact it's not just an impact you have uh, to ask yourself on whatever you are doing what am i creating on the ground so and if you find okay this is impact it's going to be positive then there you go ahead okay if you benefit from you but what about other people how are they going to benefit it so if you see there's benefit from you and the other people, then you go ahead and do on it. And like the facilitators and scholars and everyone who are there, they are ready to let you learn, do and learn from the mistake that you are doing. So I am um, one of the things that uh, I've done when I was there is um, visiting other Sina communities because uh, uh, Sina has um, more than nine communities now. Hopefully. We are going to have the next one, ours in Zanzibar. So I've been in uh, uh, Bukavu in Congo for like a month. And there I've seen like different kind of things. Like those people, the way how they perceive things when they are outside and when they come on the reality, it's totally different. Like they're scared to go and take a chance and learn. But when they are there, it's like, you see now, even if, like I was in Bukavu, I didn't speak um, French. It was only Swahili and they don't speak English and their Swahili was not fluent. But if I couldn't take that as an uh, adventure and one way of learning, I couldn't make it. But I was there and I got a chance to um, be a commentary and uh, support them on their enterprise and tech sessions. It was mixing Swahili, English uh, and a little bit French and they understand. So. It's uh, one of the things that uh, makes um, uh, so many people who are in the Sina community feel proud and do better because of the way how uh, Sina uh, people treat each other. It's like you are in the families. Like before when I, uh, I was there, I was telling them, well, I will not miss anything. But when I'm back home now, I feel like, oh, if I have this problem, then there's no Tony. Then I have to call him. There's no ATN there. Then you have to call them, and people have other things. But if you are there, like whatever, you need support. People there there to help you. So uh, uh, we are going to start our um, uh, Sina model, which we want to uh, support uh, also youth in Zanzibar because we see they are facing different kind of problem. So hopefully our Hazina um, will take um, re uh, replace those places that are not giving what uh, youth are supposed to have that um, um, wish to have like in the other senior communities are getting. So yeah, because we have so many problems like uh, especially with um, women empowerment, but also youth when they uh, drop out from school, it's very hard to, uh, to get a job. And also they don't have the um, quality skills that are needed on the job marketing. So on our um, Hazina, we will provide the same things and add extra according to our culture and goes through the, uh, the way how people are living here to make sure we give um, a people chance to see themselves and do what they wish to do and see themselves like one day I want to be this kind of person. It's not just like uh, you do the things because you want to earn money. Because at the end of the day, we don't look for the money. So we wish to have that and solve the problem. And um, we believe if we provide a social entrepreneurship training in Zanzibar, there will be uh, youth that will be able to create their own job, fight poverty, promote economic growth and development, and meanwhile, protect our environment. So that's what we believe I and my teammates and the other people who are going to join on our organization. Thank you for listening.
Thank you so much, uh, Saida.